Hey folks, how's it going? We are checking out more Mitchell and Webb. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. Let's see, this is the doctor and the ice cream taster. Let's just go ahead and jump into it, folks. We'll talk about it more at the end. Hi. God, you got wiped out. You okay? Um, yeah, you know. Tough day in the ward. Yeah, yeah. A couple of new admissions. Little lad with a pronounced heart murmur. Poor little kid. I think he's gonna pull through, but Sari is back on the ventilator, which meant I had to liaise with the consultants at King's. Mm, those guys. Exactly. Yeah, it's hitting bed crisis time, and I just don't know where I can physically fit any more severely ill children on my ward. Still, listen, sorry to unload on you. How was your day at the ice cream factory? <laughs> oh, you know, fine. Come on, it, it's okay, you can say. Well... I guess it was a bit of a hard day at the ice cream factory. <laughs> It's like, how is it going to compare? Um, compared to your day, it was nothing, but... It's fine. Listen, we've been through this. Just because I'm a paediatrician dealing with severely ill children doesn't mean that you can't have a tough day tasting ice cream at the ice cream cup. <laughs> I'm just really trying to push the rum and raisin thing, you know? <laughs> trying to ride that whole kitsch shit. revival that bombed with Raspberry Ripple. You remember that whole shitstorm? Look, we've got a similar situation, which is I'm having to spend a lot more time than usual on the ward for children who, sadly, we, we know just aren't going to get better and, and it's hard because you know you look into their parents eyes and <laughs> really just don't know what this to say shit. can yeah. i complain yeah that is quite similar isn't it <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes Keith, I, I feel that no not ice cream tasting isn't somehow as important as looking after sick and dying children oh, oh of course it is Look, I no, work not. hard saving children's lives, but you work just as hard ensuring that they've got some lovely ice cream to enjoy when they do get better. Yeah, you yeah, know, that sounds good. Right, I'm going to go up and do some coursework for my human rights law degree. What about you? <laughs> oh, I think I'll just stay down here, wanking. <laughs> It's gonna be a tough relationship to be. <laughs> yeah. There's always something to complain about. No matter what job you're in, somebody's gonna find something that's frustrating that people from the outside looking in won't see. I know that's not exactly what this is about, but I just think about that. Like, you'll find a way to complain about any job that you have. People do. People always find a way. Like, I'll moan sometimes if I'm a little irritated about something, but I'm not really a big complainer because it's kind of like, you know, it is what it is. Especially when it comes to like your job. Like the main irritant in most jobs are stuff that you can't eliminate because it's part of your core job, you know? So yeah, man, that is it. That is all for this one. Hopefully you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.